WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to the 2 p.m. update here at TFNN. Of course, uh, many people are discussing the midterms. I don't know if that's actually going to affect the election, or I mean the uh, markets that much. Hard to tell. I don't think so. Um, there's some things probably coming after the elections that will. Maybe we'll talk about those later this week. Uh, volume was poor, down about 20, 25% uh, on Monday from Friday. Uh, volume continues to be very light. Uh, and uh, not a big fan of uh, uh, just uh, having markets move higher on lighter volume. Also a little worried about the lack of anybody uh, being short, uh, especially yesterday. We had uh, almost some historical lows in the put call ratio for the VIX, which is always an indication that if something bad happens, uh, there aren't going to be a lot of people to cover on the way lower. Uh, Delta neutrals tomorrow for options expiration. So besides the elections, expect uh, a huge amount of range uh, generally associated. It. If you're unfamiliar with what delta neutral means on a monthly basis, that is the day that options market makers uh, buy and sell and push and shove uh, to try to get uh, the uh, risk down to nothing, no matter which way the market moves on the last eight or seven, yeah, last seven trading days uh, before the monthly options expiration. And uh, that involves uh, adding, uh, buying uh, equities, uh, selling and buying uh, puts and calls. Uh, the idea is just to get it down to where not a lot of risk left over. Um, mostly in the late 90s, there were a couple of people that won uh, Nobel Prizes for the Black Shoals uh, uh, algorithm. And uh, they kind of figured out fairly quickly that you don't want to have a lot of risk the last eight. It's actually uh, problematic. Anyway, we'll talk about this and more on the show in just a few minutes. We'll be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest 